Hey guys, it's Leo Stargazer. I'm here today with our sign-specific weekly astrological tarot reading. This is for the week of September 17th through September 23rd, and this reading is for Capricorn. All right, so this week there's one major event that I'll be focusing on, and that is that the sun moves from Virgo into Libra, and we start Libra season towards the end of the week. We also get the autumn equinox as well. So this is going to be a time of reaping our rewards, harvesting all of that good stuff that we got and we earned and we learned and we grew in Virgo, and then using that to balance our inner and outer worlds. Um, so in honor of that and in honor of Libra season, I chose a spread that's going to help us understand how we can do that. So the first card in our spread is in the inner position. So the position representing you as you are now. The second card is going to be outer. So others, um, the outer world. And then in the middle is a balance card. In honor of Libra, in honor of this shift in seasons, in honor of the equinox, I want the balance card to show us how we can balance our inner and outer as we shift. So um, let's do that. Um, and as I begin my shuffle, I'm going to be repeating the intention that I set for us this week. And that intention is balance. I chose balance for obvious reasons, all the reasons I just said. Um, and, and really just to, to, to really drive the point home that it is the, it's a time, this week in particular, is definitely the time to start thinking about balance really start to be guided with the intention of balancing. So let's hope the tarot helps us. Um, okay. First card that I draw is in the inner position. And that card is judgment reversed. outer position. The nine of pentacles. Okay. Balance. What is this season, upcoming season? What it's all about? Five of Cups reversed. Wow. <laughs> okay. So. Okay. Um. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. This is it's 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 a very interesting spread. It's a very well. Let's just get started with it. In. The position of inner, I drew judgment reversed. It shows me pretty clearly that you are having trouble accepting Virgo's lessons, accepting the lessons of Mercury's retrograde. As we're about to change seasons, maybe you just kind of aren't ready for that change yet. Maybe the idea of utilizing those lessons to create balance isn't something you are craving right now. Either way, it's showing me that you definitely are struggling to accept something that has already happened. <laughs> and, you know, at the change of seasons, it's not the worst place to be. Um, knowing you're there, you can do something about it, and, and the guidance position is going to definitely help us with that. Um, but to be honest, that's what I see. It's tough. I think you need to start accepting that the seasons are changing. Start accepting some of those lessons. Maybe it's not for me to say that. Um, maybe it's more, not, not to make a judgment call, <laughs> sorry. Um, I think really it's it's that either way, you're not, you're right now, you're not accepting those lessons yet. Um, and the lessons have already been learned. The seasons are going to change that acceptance needs to happen or 
It isn't right now, at least. So, others, though. Others, the card is the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is saying that other people... And again, it's not everyone in the world. This this could literally just be your partner, uh, someone close to you, a social group, family group, anything like that. This, whatever it is, though, that person, those people... They are having success utilizing and accepting all that they have, all that Virgo season has been for them. They're using it to affect. Someone around you is using their lessons appropriately and effectively. And I think that person can be a guide. And based on the balance card, that person needs to be turned to. And here's what I mean. In the balance position, you got the Five of Cups reversed. The Five of Cups reversed indicates a necessity to turn away from what has been lost. To turn away from... Well, it, 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 it maybe not a necessity. It could be that. But it could also be a readiness. There is a readiness or a necessity to turn away from what's lost, away from what is no longer usable, no longer useful and towards what's left from that. Away from what we can't change and towards what we can or what has changed. That's what she is saying. You need to accept that either you weren't successful at something during Virgo season or Mercury's retrograde, maybe it was all just too much and you're over it, you need to maybe just accept that and move on from it. Accept that you're having trouble accepting it and then accept it and then move on from it. Because what's standing is something super valuable. Also something that you succeeded at. Or someone who's close to you really succeeded at it and you can use their success. You can use that to create the balance that you desperately need going forward. The balance that you will absolutely need in Libra season, you are going to need to accept that Virgo season's over, that Mercury is direct, lessons have been learned, things have happened, that has to be accepted, and then moved on from. Use that person or those people or that group around you who have had success In fact, maybe spend this week finding them if you don't already know who I'm talking about. Find them, latch onto them, trust their process, use them so that you can stay balanced and responsible in the next phase of this journey that we're on. You're going to need to, but the first step is accepting that that part's over. This part's beginning, but you have resources to use. So definitely, definitely use them. Um, It'll keep you balanced. It'll keep you stable. And you will love it. (laughs) I'm sure. I'll see you next week.